We're having a session on Theragnostics. So the FDA is joined with the NCI and the Society for Nuclear Medicine to talk about what is it that manufacturers need to do to bring new Theragnostic for the use of patients. So it's focused on patients with cancer and it's focused on radiopharmaceuticals. The most important problems for approval tend to be related to product quality. These products require high standards of microbiological quality because they are given intravenously to patients that are immunocompromised. So it's important that there be adequate microbiological assurance. An additional problem relates to the quality of the pharmaceutical. And finally, there are some issues with actual inspection of manufacturing facilities. So the focus is, given the complexity of these problems, is really on product quality. To determine where to submit your application, you have to have an understanding of which component of TA has the expertise to do the review. So what we typically recommend is that you request a pre-IND meeting, and during the pre-IND meeting, we can direct you to where to go. But the, the, the process of actual review is highly integrated. So even though the manufacturer or the applicant may not be familiar with where to direct it, it's, it's, uh, the process is highly integrated. With the question of parallel review process, it's an important question. The process of review is highly integrated. So we have experts in medical oncology that work with the Office of Oncology Products and experts in medical imaging that review the diagnostic component. So our focus is to integrate the review process so that rather than create inefficiency, we actually make the process even more efficient. You can see from the level of excitement, the palpable level of excitement at the meeting, there's high hope for these products becoming even more effective and more efficient in removing toxicities that have been associated with previous therapy. So the technology is advancing, the clinical trial efficiency is increasing, and so we have high hopes that these products will become available to increase the salvage of patients with cancer.